Have you ever pondered what truly lies at the heart of reality? Or how the unfathomable mysteries of the universe can be explained? In our quest to comprehend the cosmos, we've stumbled upon a remarkable field of study, quantum mechanics. This realm of the microcosm has fundamentally shifted our understanding of the universe. It's a world where particles can exist in multiple places at once, where cause doesn't always precede effect, and where reality itself seems woven from a fabric of probabilities. One concept that emerges from this quantum landscape is that of quantum foam. Coined by the physicist John Wheeler, it's a theoretical model of the very fabric of space and time. Picture the universe not as a smooth canvas, but as a turbulent sea of energy bubbling and frothing at its tiniest scales. This is the essence of quantum foam, a realm where the laws of physics as we know them seem to dissolve into a froth of uncertainty. In parallel, our exploration of the universe has led us to the enigmatic doorstep of black holes. These cosmic behemoths, with their gravity so intense that not even light can escape, pose paradoxes that challenge our understanding of reality. Some of these paradoxes, like the information loss paradox and the Hawking radiation paradox, seem to defy the laws of nature as we understand them. But here's where things get even more intriguing. There's a potential connection between the frothy realm of quantum foam and the perplexing paradoxes of black holes. Could the unpredictable, fluctuating nature of quantum foam hold the key to decoding the mysteries of black holes? Could this tiny, turbulent sea of energy explain how information might escape a black hole? Or how these cosmic giants radiate energy? These are some of the questions that physicists around the world are grappling with as they probe the mysteries of reality. So, are you ready to dive into the quantum foam and explore its potential link to black hole paradoxes? Imagine if space-time, the fabric of our universe, was not smooth but frothy like the head of a beer. Picture that for a moment. This is the intriguing concept of quantum foam, a theory that challenges our understanding of the universe's very fabric. Quantum foam, also known as space-time foam, is a theoretical model first proposed by John Wheeler in the mid-20th century. It's rooted in the principles of quantum mechanics, particularly the uncertainty principle and the concept of quantum fluctuations. According to these principles, on an incredibly small scale, we're talking about the Planck length, which is many times smaller than an atomic nucleus, space-time is not smooth and continuous as we perceive it on our everyday scale. Instead, it's a roiling sea of temporary minuscule bubbles that constantly form, change, and vanish. These bubbles are manifestations of what we call virtual particles. Now, don't be fooled by the term virtual. These particles aren't imaginary or digital, but they're very much real, even if their existence is transient and incredibly brief. They pop in and out of existence, borrowing energy from the universe for the tiniest fraction of a second before paying it back and disappearing. It's like the universe is a vast cosmic bank, and these virtual particles are the ultimate short-term borrowers. This quantum frothiness might seem strange, but it's a direct consequence of the uncertainty principle, which tells us that we can't know both the position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty. The more precisely we know one, the less precisely we can know the other. This inherent uncertainty gives rise to these virtual particles and their fleeting existence within the foam. And what about the foaminess of space-time? Well, there are different interpretations. Some see it as a geometric property, a literal bubbling of space-time at the quantum level. Others view it as a manifestation of potential energy, where energy borrowed from the universe creates these temporary bubbles in the fabric of space-time. So what does quantum foam look like? Well, it's predicted to have some fascinating properties. It should be granular with a structure made up of these tiny temporary bubbles. It should also be fluctuating with these bubbles constantly forming and disappearing. And it should have an energy density, a measure of how much energy is packed into a given volume of space, which is incredibly high due to the constant activity of these virtual particles. But as much as we'd like to, we can't directly observe quantum foam. It's simply too small and fleeting. Instead, scientists are working on ways to detect its effects indirectly. Looking for subtle signs in the behavior of light and other particles, 
that could hint at the underlying frothiness of space-time. Quantum foam, though elusive, might be the key to unlock some of the greatest mysteries of the universe. It may even help us understand the paradoxes of black holes, but that's a story for another scene. For now, let's marvel at the tiny, frothy world that might be bubbling away beneath the surface of our reality. Black holes, the cosmic monsters of the universe, are not just fascinating but also paradoxical. Let's dive into the realm of these celestial enigmas. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are characterized by a point of infinite density, known as a singularity and an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can return. The paradoxes associated with black holes primarily arise from the clash between gravity, as described by Einstein's general relativity, and quantum mechanics. These two pillars of modern physics, although successful in their own domains, don't play well together, especially in extreme conditions like those inside a black hole. Let's consider the two main paradoxes associated with black holes. The first is the information loss paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information can never be lost. However, if you toss something into a black hole, it seems to disappear forever, along with all the information about its quantum state. This is a big no-no in the quantum world. The second paradox is related to Hawking radiation. In the 1970s, physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes aren't completely black, but emit particles now known as Hawking radiation. This implies that over time black holes could lose mass and eventually evaporate completely. But what happens to the information about the stuff that fell in? If the black hole evaporates, where does the information go? This conundrum, known as the black hole information paradox, has puzzled physicists for decades. To reconcile these paradoxes, physicists have proposed various theories. String theory, for instance, suggests that particles are not point-like, but tiny vibrating strings. This could potentially smooth out the singularity at the heart of a black hole, resolving the paradoxes. Another theory, loop quantum gravity, proposes that space is not continuous but composed of discrete loops or grains. This could mean that there is no true singularity within a black hole, which again might help resolve the paradoxes. However, these theories, while promising, are still under development and their predictions are yet to be tested. So, where does this leave us? Well, despite the challenges, these paradoxes offer a unique window into the fundamental nature of reality. They push us to question, explore, and innovate, driving us closer to a unified theory that encompasses both gravity and quantum mechanics. Black hole paradoxes, though perplexing, are integral for our understanding of the universe. Could quantum foam hold the answers to the paradoxes of black holes? Let's dive into this tantalizing possibility. Quantum foam, with its seething sea of virtual particles popping in and out of existence, might just have the potential to crack open some of the toughest puzzles in black hole physics. One of the most perplexing of these is the information loss paradox. This arises from the notion that when matter falls into a black hole, all information about its original state is lost forever. Yet, quantum mechanics insists that information can never be destroyed, leading to a standoff between two of the most fundamental theories in physics. So, where does quantum foam fit into this picture? Well, it's all about those virtual particles. Remember, they're constantly appearing and disappearing within the foam. When a pair forms near the event horizon of a black hole, one particle may fall in while the other escapes, becoming what we know as Hawking radiation. It's been suggested that these escaping particles could carry away the information that was seemingly lost, resolving the paradox. However, this is where things get complicated. You see, the problem is that Hawking radiation appears to be entirely random, carrying no specific information about the material that fell into the black hole. So while it's a tantalizing idea, it doesn't quite solve the puzzle on its own. But don't despair. Quantum foam might still have some tricks up its sleeve. Some physicists propose that the foam's space-time fluctuations could play a role. These fluctuations might alter the path of particles near a black hole, potentially influencing the pattern of Hawking radiation. If this is the case, then maybe, just maybe, the information isn't lost after all. 
Of course, these are all theoretical considerations, and our understanding of quantum foam is still in its infancy. We've yet to directly detect or measure the foam, and many of its predicted properties remain untested. So, while it's an exciting possibility, there's a long road of research ahead before we can say for sure whether quantum foam can resolve the black hole paradoxes. Moreover, it's worth noting that quantum foam may not be the only game in town. There are other theories and interpretations out there that also offer potential solutions to the black hole paradoxes. So, while quantum foam is a fascinating concept that could provide some answers, it's not the end-all be-all solution. In the end, it's the unanswered questions that drive us forward. Each new discovery, each new theory, brings us one step closer to understanding the true nature of our universe. While quantum foam may provide some answers, it also opens up a plethora of intriguing questions. Quantum foam, black holes, paradoxes, they all weave a complex tapestry of our universe. As we've journeyed together through the intricacies of quantum foam and the enigma of black hole paradoxes, we've unearthed a potential connection between these seemingly disparate phenomena. Let's recap. Quantum foam, a theoretical model born out of quantum field theory and the uncertainty principle, paints a picture of space-time as a frothy sea teeming with virtual particles that pop in and out of existence. This foam, with its fluctuations, granularity and energy density, may have far-reaching implications for our understanding of the universe. On the other hand, black holes, with their event horizons and singularity, present us with paradoxes that challenge our existing theories. The information loss paradox, which questions the fate of information that falls into a black hole, and the Hawking radiation paradox, which revolves around the evaporation of black holes, both push the boundaries of quantum mechanics and gravity. The fascinating possibility we've explored is that quantum foam could hold the key to unraveling these paradoxes. The interactions of virtual particles or fluctuations in space-time might provide a way to resolve the information loss issue. But we must remember, our understanding is still in its infancy, and there's a lot more theoretical and experimental work to be done. As we grapple with these concepts, we realize that understanding quantum foam and its potential link to black hole paradoxes is not just an intellectual exercise. It's pivotal to our overall understanding of gravity, space-time, and the universe. Our perception of reality, shaped by the macroscopic world we inhabit, is but a small bubble in the vast cosmic ocean. And in this bubble, Quantum foam and black hole paradoxes might redefine our understanding of the universe's fabric. Yet, this journey is far from over. The challenges and open questions that remain are numerous. Is the foaminess of space-time a reality or just a theoretical construct? How can we detect or indirectly measure quantum foam's effects? Can quantum foam alone resolve the black hole paradoxes? Or do we need to look beyond into realms of string theory? loop quantum gravity, or yet undiscovered theories. As we gaze into the cosmic abyss, let's remember that our universe is a bubble of comprehension in the limitless expanse of the unknown. And within this bubble, each discovery, each revelation, however small, nudges us closer to the truth. As we continue to probe the universe, we might just find that the answers to its greatest mysteries lie in the smallest of its components the quantum foam.